Hi, this is Marty Lecklader, Offering Manager, IBM Forums Experience Builder, with a video on how to do integration with DocuSign. We'll start by taking a look at a demo application, and then we'll dig into how it was created. Taking a look at the PDF fill service, in-app service definitions, and then how we use carousel mode for presentation. My forum uses carousel mode to walk me through the different questions to fill out the PDF. We'll go ahead and fill out this first panel and go to the second one. I've got a lookup for the city and state. And then on to the third panel. You can see I've got validation in a mask, input mask for social security number and employee number. Here let's pause and take a look at the actual PDF. I have a link to it on the IRS website. So that PDF is actually attached to the application as a template and when I click this button it fills the PDF and it attaches it to the submission record. So now I can go ahead and give it the information I need to send this document to DocuSign. I could have multiple signers. We'll have one here. We'll send it to myself. We'll give it a subject for the envelope and then a, uh, a body for the details inside the envelope. And then finally I give it my DocuSign credentials and then click send. And just to show that it's really working I have the JSON response which is coming back from DocuSign echoed in my application. So if we flip over to DocuSign it looks like I timed out. We'll log back in. You can see I have one item awaiting my signature and you can see the email subject that I have there. It's exactly what I typed in in the demo application. And you can see the body, some other, some more text up at the top there that I also typed in. And then you can see the PDF filled out with all the information I put into the Feb application. So now in DocuSign I can go ahead and take my signature widget and add that to the appropriate spot and then the date signed and tell DocuSign that I am finished. So that's the demo. You can see I come back to DocuSign that's cleared out. I have no other items in my inbox. So now for the fun stuff. Let's take a look at how this application works. So I have the application open in edit mode. You can see the form here. Let's go over to settings. Under settings in services you can see three different services two of which I'll go into. The first I'm going to take a look at is the PDF fill service. Now because there's a PDF attached it shows up as an option under documents. And when I select that PDF what it allows me to do is take values from my FEB application, my form, which you can see here in the different sections. The green check marks indicate those that I've already picked and mapped to corresponding items in the PDF. So the PDF from the IRS that I downloaded is a fillable PDF and you can see all the different fields here that I'm going ahead and I'm filling. So this is pretty much a one way where I'm taking the values in the FEB application and pushing them into the PDF. All right. Now there's one more setting here which I have which is create as attachment and what you need to do is you need to set that to true. So you just simply go in and use a constant and you can just type in the constant, the word true here to set that. But because that is set to true, I now have an output, which is the filled PDF. So by default, what it will do is fill the PDF and present it to the user. When I set this item to create as a, an attachment, what it's going to do is instead of presenting that to the user, it's going to map that to an attached field in the FEB record, which I have done here. So I've mapped this to a file attachment widget, which is on the form. So that's the PDF fill service. 
And if I take a look at my form, I have a button which is in the fourth section here. And this is the button which actually then executes that fill service. All right. So now the next thing you need to figure out is, well, how does that PDF get over to DocuSign? When working with APIs, I like to start off in a REST client. This gives you a chance to understand the API and through trial and error figure out what works and what doesn't work. So you start with the REST endpoint. So this is the REST API for creating an envelope. And then you figure out the command that you want. So in this case, it's a post. And then there's the question of authentication. With DocuSign, there's a number of different ways to do authentication. I decided to use uh, the authentication, which you can put in a header. So they specify a special header, and you pass it a JSON string with your username, password, and integrator key. I've purposely X'd out my password and integrator key here. And then um, you have a JSON payload. So the JSON payload is pretty you know, straightforward. Um, you can see that you can have multiple recipients, and then you can order who has to sign you know, what first. And then you can have multiple documents as part of the envelope. Now, one of the parameters which I really like is one called remote URL, which gives me a chance to pass DocuSign the URL for the attached PDF. And then DocuSign is just grabbing that. Now, you can grab this JSON payload. And then you can go over to Forms Experience Builder. And then in your service, you can see the URL endpoint. It's a post. And then you can literally just paste in that JSON payload. Now, everything in this JSON is assignable, which is what this little information pop-up tells you. So that means that these values will all come from the form. And then for the authentication, what I've done is I've also made that assignable from the form. So I've got different values in the form which are going to populate all this. So then when I go to the inputs, you can see that the header is coming from the form. And then this, it just picked up through that JSON payload that I put in there. So it's, it's asking me for the section of the form or the fields in the form for the subject the email blurb, that's what they call the, uh, the body of it, and then the recipients, uh, the documents, and then there's a, a field here, status. Um, you could have a status of created or, or status of sent. I'm, send, I'm sending it as sent, so therefore it, it's sending, you know, as opposed to me having to go into DocuSign and manually send it after it's been created. Um, and then for the output, I'm just getting the JSON value back and I'm throwing that into the form. And then you saw that was echoed in some text in the form. Um, so that's the, the key here. It's all in in-app service definition. So if you want to try this on the, the um, trial service, the Feb trial service, the uh, DocuSign domain has been whitelisted. You're able to, uh, to call and play around with that. So in the form... Um, you can see the different values that I'm collecting here. And then finally, in the last section, what I'm doing is I'm building the security header. This is the response, the JSON response back. I'm building the, the uh, list of documents, the email signer. Then that's all inputs. And then the send button is what triggers that service call, which passes that over to, to DocuSign. And then finally, let's take a look at the use of carousel mode for presentation. So I have five different pieces of the form. They're all in individual sections. So there's part one, part two, part three, etc. And then I'm using uh, an HTML tag, which is very simple to use. It's, it's called a progress tag. And I'm setting uh, a value for each one of the sections. So the first one's 20 out of 100, 40 out of 100, 60 out of 100, etc. And then the key here with carousel mode is that all five of these sections 
are in a larger section. So they're all contained in this one larger section. And that larger section has been set to flip into carousel mode. So that's what gives me the navigation between the different sections. And what I do, and this is a, a bit of a trick, I, I set the trigger for carousel mode to something ridiculously high. So when the width of the window is less than 2,000 pixels, which it's always going to be, so this will always be in carousel mode. So it gives me an easy way to do, um, you know, wizard style forms where I'm showing just a little bit at a time. Of course, you could do that on multiple pages as well. Um, but, you know, this is, is a nice way to do it. So when we take a look at the presentation again, you can see that part one, you've got the progress tag there, part two, part three, you know, etc. So that concludes the demo. I hope you found this useful, and as always, feel free to drop me a line.